Good morning. Hopefully you all are doing well. Got my NSYNC going. Um, so how about y'all? Okay. That girl done got three, three gray hairs. Popped up this morning. This video ain't about that, but I just said, Lord Jesus. This morning, I said, oh my. Y'all comment, I got gray hairs too, if you got gray hairs. <laughs> I play too much. Okay, so I do have something to share. So, um, <clears throat> so I get in the car this morning and I notice this pollen on my windshield. And so I, I put the little um, mist that come out and then wipe. And I forgot it was bird doodoo on my windshield too. So it's smeared. And I was like, oh, now I can't see. And so um, I kept spraying the mist and then it, it started clearing after a, while, after a while. And so the Lord, he spoke to me. He said, sometimes it get messy before it get clean. So I started thinking about that. And um, I think... I think messy can represent a lot of different things to different people, right? So um, for me, messy represents something that um, I feel like might get bigger or something that I, I feel like I'm not equipped to handle. Um, so so in life, that could be um, seeking understanding, right? Um, you know, uh, trauma flares. So... It's easier in those situations just to be like, nah, I'm going to keep it clean. I'm going to keep it clean. I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying? Because it might get bigger, right? But in real life, your perspective might have boo-boo on it. And you just might not want to get it clean. And so lately, the Lord has been um, presenting so many opportunities for me to choose my will or choose his will in regards to messy in my life. And um, one situation that recently happened was seeking understanding and um, being open to have a conversation versus just cutting something off, which I feel like is really easy in life, in the culture, you know, everybody protecting their peace. Because sometimes you just don't know how to deal with it. Because maybe... Um, <clears throat> Maybe your family doesn't have a history of dealing with things. Maybe, you know, it, it's so many reasons why we process the way we do. But um, messy isn't always bad. Messy just means that you can see things clearer. They might appear messy. Like the bird boo, -boo it was smearing. It was really ugly at first. It was, I hate to get in detail, it was white. Y'all seen, seen boo boo before. Um... And it smeared pretty heavy and it it blocked my vision. I couldn't see Harley. But then when I kept on, um, <clears throat> I, I did the action of, of wiping it more and it got clear. <clears throat> and so I wanted to share that um, for those who, dog, it's really something in my throat. <clears throat> for those who um, are pursuing growth in areas, you know, um, growth and vulnerability, uh, growth in expressing how you feel, growth in understanding things, um, growth in, in putting yourself in, in situations um, that are unfamiliar. It might appear messy, but it will get clean. And, um, you know, even if it's just cleaner for yourself, because sometimes stuff don't work out. The Lord has really been gracing me with relationships that um, are patient, are kind, are loving, and um, stretching my heart to be the same. Because, you know, in certain situations, you you have a choice to revert back. You know, you have a choice to be refurbished or made new. <sighs> so I wanted to share that because it, it blessed me. And I, I think... Um, I think there there is rewards in cleaning in cleaning things that that appear messy at first. Um, you can revive relationships. You can um, keep things alive. You can um, alive in your heart. 
I know aliven is not a word, but it might be. So, whoa, just getting long. Hopefully, you all have an awesome <clears throat> Thursday. Y'all pray for my Jesus. First of all, one, two, three. You know what? We're blessed in the city. All right. Peace.